Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam from Boost HD here and this is the first Q&A of 2015. So I have the questions right here. So any further ado, let's get right into it. You're watching Boost HD with your host, Adam Lubin. So the first question is on Facebook and that question is, why you got so much bass in your voice? Did you create the bass? So yeah, me and this guy called Taze on Day, I'll leave a photo if you haven't seen him before. Me, me and him, we both created what is known as the bass. And so I actually posted in one of my older videos, I think it was the Casio watch video, that actually posted Chocolate Rain in the, in the link below. So I thought, okay, maybe they're trying to imply that like Taze on Day. So anyway guys, here's a little number for you. Chocolate rain, some stay dry but others feel the pain Chocolate rain, a baby born will die before the sin Chocolate rain, only in the past is what they say Chocolate rain, zoom the camera out and see the light So the next question is what made you want to start YouTube? So back in 2009, I actually shared my friend's channel and we basically just uploaded all sorts of funny and comedic videos on that channel. Then in 2010, I created my own channel that was known as Boost8638. I didn't really upload any videos on the channel, it's basically subscribe to other people and just watch what they uploaded on their content on their channel. And then in 2013, I started to actually upload videos using the EasyCap capture card. It was gaming videos here and there, all in standard definition. There was no HD on the channel whatsoever. And then further down the line, I started to create tech videos using a camcorder. I started showing my face a bit more, making all sorts of videos, reviews, unboxings, and all sorts of videos such as that. Then afterwards, I started to invest in the HD PVR and started making HD gameplay videos and I still continue to make that as of now. And I'm still creating tech videos and all sorts of unboxings and reviews up to this day. So that is pretty much where I started to become active on YouTube. So next question is, you've reviewed a lot of earphones, but which ones are your favourites? So in the recent earphones I've actually reviewed, I would definitely go with the Vibe Fly Flat earphones. They sound great and they look really, really nice as well. But overall, the sound quality is really, really bang on. It's balanced between the bass, the mids and the treble, which I think is really, really good on earphones. And they're not just overly bassy like a lot of headphones are and a lot of earphones are on the market today. So if you, want, if you really want good sounding headphones overall, I would definitely go for the Vibe Fly Flat earphones, especially with their very, very low price point. So the next question is, how long did it take you to hit 100 subs? So it took me between around 9 to 10 months to hit 100 subs, but it does take you quite a long while, as any usual will take. It takes quite a while to build from 0 to 100 subs, but if you keep at it and keep uploading, keep producing very, very good content, then you hit 100 subs no problem in due course. So the next question is, how long have you been filming music videos and what concepts have you got planned for future music videos? So really I've been doing music videos on and off for the past four years now. A lot of the early ones are very, very basic, but the most recent ones I've been doing as a higher stage is from Lovelace Music One, they're the most recent ones that I've been working on. And as for future concept, it's really whatever gets thrown at me. I don't mind doing any music videos here and there, but really for future concept, it's really whatever just comes towards me really. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit with that. So pretty much that's how that is my future concept or my future ideas for future music videos uh, that come towards me. So the next question is, what are your PC specs and what do you use to edit? So basically my PC specs are very, very basic. I had the, the PC custom built for me back in 2012 and the specs are as follows really. I've got an AMD FX uh, 4100. It's at, clocked at 4.1 gigahertz at the moment as of now. Uh, I've got eight gigs of Corsair RAM. I've got a 600 watt power supply. Uh, here's the thing with the graphics card now, I actually started off with an ATI Radeon 6000 series HD but I went to try and upgrade it to an NVIDIA GTX 670 and it didn't really really go too well, I mean I had all sorts of problems trying to get the compatibility to work so I had to go ahead and pretty much uh, return, I, luckily I got my money back for the card anyway so pretty much I got the ATI card back in the, in the system now and that'll just keep me going until I actually start to upgrade my PC later on in the year. And the final thing I've got is I haven't got any SSD in there, it's just basically an, a basic one terabyte hard drive and that's got everything saved onto it as of the operating system and all my software. As for the software that I use, I use Sony Vegas, very easy to use program and I really enjoy using it. So the next question is, do you PC game? If so, what are your specs? Also, I love to tech reviews, keep it up. I think, I think they mean love your tech reviews, keep it up. Anyway, yeah, so my, as I mentioned before, that's my specs. I mentioned my specs in the previous question before. But as for PC gaming, I don't really do a lot of PC gaming now. I did give it a go a few years back. And I, the games I actually tried were with Railworks 2. I also tried Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. Those are the two main games I actually played on the PC. Now, I did try GTA 4, but that was very, very intensive on the graphics card. So I just had to pretty much stop using that because it was just killing the PC. So... 
those are the, the, really the two main games that you use for PC gaming. Apart from that, all the games that you use on my PS3 or any other console that I use, I don't really do much PC gaming. I really use my PC for editing and other media work like that. So my next question is, what is your favorite sport and blue pill or red pill from the Matrix? So as for the first question, I said my favorite sport is a whole umbrella of different sports and that's athletics and my favorite event is the high jump. So I've been doing high jump now for the past eight years. Uh, my current PB now, my personal best is 190. So we're, we're hitting the season hard and I'm hoping to go ahead and jump at least 195 and to be a bit more ambitious two meters. So I've done a lot of whole of winter training now from since September all the way till now. So hoping to go straight into the event season now, hitting it hard and trying to jump those high heights. And as for the blue pill or the red pill, I'll definitely go for the red pill. I've always been an adventurous kind of person. I always want to know more. So I'd always go for the red pill uh, in any way, shape or form. Red pill is definitely where I'm going to be heading. Because I, I just want to know more about things. And I also love to know the truth and how things really work. So my next question is, are you West African? And just curious, how much is how is YouTube pay like? And is it worth partnering with other networks like Zooming? Oh yeah, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? So, to answer the first question, my, I'm, I'm actually not West African. My family originates from a small island called St. Kitts in the Caribbean. Uh, so for the next question, the next part of that question, uh, YouTube pay really depends on how many views you get per thousand. Like most partnering programs generally pay you out per thousand views. So it really depends on how many views you're getting on a, on a monthly or an annual basis or a, a per thousand kind of basis. And if you're going to be really doing any gaming videos, I would always recommend that you go with a partnering program that specializes in gaming. If you go with an ordinary YouTube partnership, you won't be able to monetize gameplay, which is going to be a bit of a problem. So I would definitely recommend if you're going to be doing any gaming, then go with maybe a gaming partnership like maybe Machinima if you've got enough subscribers or views to support that. Or any other gaming program out there such as full screen and things like that or partnering programs like that. And as for my age, I'm 19 years old and that is pretty much the end of that part of the question. So my next question is, what is your favorite food, favorite drink, and favorite sweet? So yes, my favorite food is fried chicken, of course. I'm gonna be typical here and say fried chicken. I love my fried chicken. Uh, as for favorite drink, I'm gonna go with grape soda. Uh, mainly grape care, that's what I think I like the most, grape care, but any grape soda really I enjoy. And as for favorite sweets, I'm gonna go with sour skittles. Love my sour skittles, always will, and have enjoyed them. So sour skittles all the way. And that's pretty much the end of that part of the question. So my next question is from PSN, so shout out to GTCPM1946 because they asked me what is my favourite game. So my favourite game as of this point right now is definitely GTA 5. Always been a GTA fan from since San Andreas, so GTA 5 is my favourite game. And until GTA 6 comes out, GTA 5 will always remain my favourite game. So my next question is... Adam, do you reckon you can do a tech review of the Samsung Go clip-on microphone? So yeah, I definitely can in the not too distant future. If you do want to see it, then go ahead and leave a mention in the comments down below. So now that you want to go ahead and see that review. So my final question is, prank call the 34th contact on your phone and make them feel as uncomfortable to talk to you as you can make them. So this might sound funny, but I haven't actually got 34 contacts on my phone. You're probably wondering, how is it not got... 34 contacts or more on his phone well mainly because many talk to people on either twitter or facebook so i don't really have a lot of contacts on my phone because many speak to people on social media anyway kind of sounds bad i know but that's pretty much how we've come to now just talking to people on social media rather than making a legitimate phone calls that's that is pretty much why i actually can't make a phone call to the 34th contact because there is no 34th contact Anyway guys, that's been the very first Q&A for 2015. If you did enjoy, then don't forget to hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe for more tech videos. Anyway guys, it's been Adam from Boost HD here. Thank you for watching. Take care and of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.